This is the best driver of 2024. No, this is. Oh, it's going to be an interesting video. The Vodacadabra! Yes, kind of. No. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Here at Golf Magic though, we're going to do it slightly differently. Myself and Johnny today are going to go through the ranges for each brand rather than individual models. We will touch on our favourite driver individually in this video, but we're going to go for each three, four, five models in each individual brand. Johnny, what is your favourite driver of 2024? I'm glad you asked Alex. I would go for the... Actually, uh, oh. we're going to, sorry, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to count down from number three first. And number three is, well, it's ping. So I don't particularly like including previous old generations in the best drivers for a current year. And ping G430 was in 2023. It was our best driver actually of 2023. But seeing this driver, 10K being introduced for 2024 means it has to come in at number three. Johnny, what do you think about the whole G430 range? Uh, I think where Ping really excels is forgiveness. Yeah. I don't think it's quite as long as other ranges that we've seen, especially this year. Yeah. But I think in terms of if you want to find a fairway from across the board, all three models, they offer, I think, probably the most forgiveness yeah. and straight they're, hitting. Yeah, they're stable, aren't they? I think that's the one thing we've noticed with the 10K. I used the LST for all of last year. Once again, Johnny said, they're not the fastest in the world. You're probably losing probably about, I think, one or two mile an hour, personally, for me, in terms of that ball speed. But with the introduction of the Max 10K, which hopefully I'll show you guys now, you have a driver that is so stable that across the face, compare this to the likes of a the lower spinning models, such yep. as a Triple Diamond, an LS. I think if you compared it as well to the Cobra Dark Speed range, yeah, it's a big difference, There's, right? And yeah. this is all this is somewhat like personal. People could think that the Dark Speed is very forgiving, but. Because the driver heads themselves are obviously they're quite large, they're yeah. titanium, we've got spin consistency on the face as well. The dispersion that you'll see across the face on the fairway on a simulator is really impressive. As I would hope to show you here. Yeah. I've got Backstreet Boys on my head. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. me. I do like you. See, that was bottomy. And that's that's going to be still maybe, found the, maybe the first cut on the left. Or yeah, found the fairway. Think, yeah, I think I've just about found the fairway. If I hit that with another less forgiving model, yeah, I actually I don't know where that could have gone. Surprisingly enough, I thought by gear effect that could have actually gone over there slightly because that was lower out of the hill. That remained remarkably straight. Yeah, if you is... most most golf holes, you hit that shot, you're going to be just in the rough. Yeah. you're not going to be losing a shot, knocking into the trees potentially. Exactly. I mean, the thing is with the 10K though, I'll just let you have a go with right. it as well. Is that it's a very good driver. All the Ping's drivers are very good. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Was it 600 pounds? I think yeah. I mean, it's probably the most expensive driver of the year. Yeah. It, from the kind of like major flagship yeah. brands. And it's, it's it's a big boy. I do think there are some things. The technology behind it, you could say, warrants it a little bit. But we've talked about dark speed. Dark speeds are a good about 20, 30 percent cheaper. Yeah. What's the big deal with that? I guess it's a kind of a profile thing as well. Yeah. I mean, that this this larger head size might not suit the eye of every golfer. Exactly. But yeah. If you are someone who is looking for a kind of a confidence-inspiring profile, this is about as good as it gets. Exactly. And that's me. <laughs> so as you actually can see, that's really forgiving. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. Not the best strike in the world again? Not the best strike by any means. Yeah, what was that? Where was that? A little on the, low on the face and Healy maybe? Was it Toey? You know what? I, I you don't know. I couldn't tell <laughs> couldn't tell you. I think you're slightly I think you're just slightly low on heel. Slightly on the heel. And again you'd think gear effect would mean it would probably go a little bit right, but we're seeing a little bit more of like a neutral ball flight for Ping, which is which is really good. And again, we focus quite a lot on the 10k here, but genuinely the Max, the SF Tech, the LST. There is a model for everyone. There uh, is, yeah, yeah. The feel is why it's number three. Uh, and, and the price. And the price as well. Visually, it's a very good driver. I and mean, you can see by the ball flight, it's, uh, it does very well for people who want stability. But to really go into the numbers, what we're going to do right now is head over to Custom Golf Works. Joe's going to hit the 10K. I'm going to hit the LST. And I'm going to show you why the Ping G430 range is number three in our standings. 
Right, here we are at Custom Golf Works to talk about the Ping G430 range. In my hands, I have the LFT. Johnny, what have you got? I've got the G430 Max 10K. The big boy. The big so, boy. we can see here using a GC Quad and a Titleist Pro V1 RCT golf balls that there's some different data, but really good data for yeah. our third best driver of 2024. You can see for my data, I'm averaging pretty much bang on what I'd want. My uh, dispersion is a bit... But to be honest, the spin stays very consistent, the spin assistancy on this head. Joanne, talk to me about your numbers, because actually I was really impressed by what you were doing. Yeah, I was also quite impressed. I was really pleased that the spin rates managed to stay a touch lower. Yep. The, the, the max, the original max, I found was spinning just a bit too much, but yep. the 10K, I brought that number down, which meant longer carry distance, and as you can see from kind of offline dispersion, just four yards right. Very nice indeed. You can see we've got different models for different golfers here. Johnny is still a fast player by name, by nature, but by using the Mac 10K, which is a forgiveness driver, a forgiveness driver, a yeah. large forgiveness driver. Some might think of it as quite daunting by how large it is, right? Yeah, I mean it's an interesting one because down at address, it's not it's not compact by any means. No. But having said that. The actual shape and the profile. You like it? I, I really like it. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of ping drivers. I yep. have been for a long, long time. But um, yeah, I was slightly nervous and they said it was going to be even larger. Yeah. Um, but no, I think it looks great. And the refined sole also. It's a nice touch. That's good large, basically. Yeah. And the numbers speak for themselves. But what's going to be number two if those numbers are so good? Let's head back to London Golf Club and find out. <laughs> Second place for the Golf Budget Rankings is the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Range. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Jonathan, I actually wasn't so sure of this when I first laid my eyes on it last year. Wasn't too sure if it would work, and I think the marketing of uh, the USA side of making it sweeter from every spot is, uh, take it with a pinch of salt. But genuinely, after hitting it and trying it out, what I noticed is they have focused on forgiveness. You kind of see that quite a lot in 2024, don't yeah, you? And absolutely. there's a lot of models in play. Triple Diamond, Max, Max D, Max Fast. I think the best driver, this is my personal opinion, I know it's slightly different, I think the best driver of the year, the individual, is the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max. We've got changeable weighting, it's very forgiving, and it can target a lot of amateur golfers. As well as that, the look down at address is very nice. I love that carbon. Don't like the logo, but I like the profile of it down at address. Yeah. Johnny, do you like the Callaways? I do. I, I, I kind of agree with you when I first heard the kind of sweeter from every spot slogan. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I think it actually makes a lot of sense. It's very easy to kind of understand, to relate Correct. to. And actually, from testing, we have seen that it's pretty spot on. Sweeter. Yeah, yeah. it is good. Um, I mean, we'll get on to Custom Golf Works shortly, but as we experienced from across the face, the ball speed retention was excellent. Yeah, really impressive. I mean, similar to other models that we've tested in 2024, you hit some shots and you expect it to do something and yeah. it does something else. There were some claims that Callow were making saying that, oh, you're going to gain 12 yards from out of the toe, yeah. 11 yards from out of the heel. Again, I noticed a one yard increase, which is still something. Professional golfers would see a one yard increase and they'd be very happy with that. I was fit for the triple diamond. Johnny, I think you're more towards the max, aren't I, you? Yeah, I would and, go for the max. Yeah, and what I do sure. like about the max for it being the flagship model is that you've got movable weighting, which I think is really good for a lot of golfers. Some other brands will have it in the lower spinning option, but I do like that Callaway have targeted for you know, the brunt of yeah, golfers. You seeing know. it in the flagship is quite good. Yeah, you, it, swing, it just allows you to tweak. Yeah, tweak your swing changes a lot as well. So let's say you go from hitting a fade to a draw, which I've done quite regularly. Mr. Woods, you can change it around. behind the camera, recently. Recently mm. adopted the draw. Scratch golfer Love behind the camera. It. Absolutely. Let's hit this shot with a triple diamond. I was fit for this over in the United States of America. Couldn't get on with it, but that was my swing. That was the pilot. Shot. Sure. Yeah, that's really good. That's I think absolute that's like, beauty. I think that's actually the best that I've hit throughout this testing here. That's, that might uh, actually be through the fairway. Yeah, that might be through the fairway. I think that this is one of the fastest drivers. The Triple Diamond could be the fastest driver of 2024. It's an absolute rocket. Johnny, on the other hand, is going to now hit one that's a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, I would also say it's worth pointing out with both, I think that both the Triple Diamond and the Max, you get low spin and a high launch. Yeah. What do you think of the, uh, the forged carbon on, uh, on the sole? Do you like it? Uh, this? Yeah. Uh, I, I like the fact that Callaway have gone in a completely different direction. Really stuck. I think it really stands out. Like if you were to see this on the shelf, I think your eye would naturally gravitate towards it. But do you say you, that it stands out in a good way? I don't want to use the phrase ugly because I think that's unfair, but almost a touch gimmicky. Yeah. But I actually think it's done quite tastefully. Yeah. And they've pulled it off personally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know. I know what you mean. I think the word gimmick seems like a negative, but to 
be loud to scream about it. It's quite difficult. Compare it to the Ping that we've just talked about as well. Yeah. Ping is very quiet. So it's obviously not by size, but by the overall design, I wouldn't look at that, look at that and be like, Ooh, it's quite right? I mean, it's quite yeah. safe. Like I think Ping, yeah. to be fair, the last few years, they've not exactly moved the needle in terms of no, sole design. There's a bit of yellow in there, Johnny. There is a bit. There is a bit of yellow. <laughs> but, but to compete against that, which is smoke, like yeah. it's yeah, it's. I think again, I'd welcome your guys' comments. Actually, um, what you think of this little smoky feature? Because I would think it's going to target you know the young boys, people yeah. like us. Well, me. Um, and I think it would target myself a little bit better being in my 20s. <laughs> uh, but I think I've seen some comments saying, no, I'm 50, I'm 60, and I really like that smoke appeal. So let's go down in the comments. Hey, 50 year olds are still trendy, Alex. Now watch me hit this drive. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's a beauty. Pull straight ahead. That one's huge. To show you guys the numbers behind Sweeter from every spot, Forgiveness, high launch, low spin. Let's head over to Custom Golf Work. Johnny's gonna hit the max, I'm gonna hit the triple diamond. I'm gonna show you why this is number two in the Golf Magic standings. Right, back to Custom Golf Works for number two, the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. Sweeter from? Every spot. Is it true? Is this why it's number two? Johnny, talk to me about what you use. Johnny used the AI Smoke Max, I use the Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond. So, first impressions, looking at the data, that is pretty much optimal for me across the board. I'm combination of high launch and low spin meant that I was carrying at 273, probably the longest I've hit a driver this year, to be completely honest. Um, the thing I was actually most surprised about was, I mean, you kind of said the same thing, hitting those, I didn't actually think I hit them that well, but sweeter from every spot really does ring true. Yep. Like those numbers were absolutely fantastic and I don't know whether I necessarily properly middled one which kind of tells you a lot about the performance of this driver. Yeah, I mean, you look at those numbers that we both hit there and you probably think it'd be smash factor of 1.5, right? It'd be yeah. middle, middle. I mean, you can see here that mine was out of the toe. What was impressive with those numbers, especially, I'm going to talk about it quite a lot in this video, is that spin rate. Your dispersion with ours is only about 200 or so. Yeah, yeah. And that's out of the toe and out of the heel with the collection of shots that we did. Yeah, that was a bit toey, but it should work. That was fun. Sweeter from every spot. Marketing wise, didn't really like it, but this is very heavily up there from the best drivers of 2022. As a range, it sits at number two. I think the best individual driver of 2024, that one right there. I think for the majority of golfers watching this video, that one's pretty much bang on. I love the adjustable weighting. I love the look, sweeter from every spot. Yeah. It's true, but there's one range that beats it at number one. Let's find out what it is. Back we are at Custom Golf Works, Johnny, to talk about the best driver range of 2024. Now, we've actually hit all three models for this, and there's a reason why, which I'll get into. But if you quickly look at the numbers, there's some really positive things to see there. It's, just, it's all of it, really. You can see the spin rate is very consistent, as well as the overall ball speeds. It's fast and it's forgiving. What were you most impressed by, Johnny? Um, I have to say, the, the range as a whole is incredibly impressive. Yeah. The kind of versatility it offers, um, but the QI10 standard model is just, Arguably the best driver I've ever hit. I can't remember the last time I averaged total distance of 300 yards. Yep. Potentially has never happened to me before in my life. Um, and also the forgiveness it offered. Oh yeah, and as you can see, kind of the dispersion on the screen, it was pretty tight. Really, really. really um, so yeah, overall looks, big plus, performance, and actually feel as well, I have to say, I was not a massive fan of Stealth 2, um, but the third iteration of the carbon face, I think is a big improvement. Couldn't have said it better myself, Johnny. I feel like what they've done with the QI10 is they focus on the feedback given by Stealth 2 and Stealth. Mm -hmm. The durability as well is a lot better. No cracked faces this year, but, Forgiveness, Stealth 2, how can they improve on that? Johnny's already talked about the QI10. The QI10 LS is a bomber, as you can see here, averaging 175 mile an hour ball speed. That's the fastest that I have got in this test team by quite some distance. Now, that leads to 320 yards. I don't think the LS is that forgiving, but that's where the QI10 Max comes in, which is why we've included that. That driver head, I actually got fitted for that driver head over in Carolina. Can't remember if it was north or south. Will, was it north? South Carolina. South, South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> I got fitted for it. <laughs> I, um, and that was pretty impressive. I was averaging 180 mile an hour ball speed. Me and Tom, I were over the moon. And I thought that can actually fit a lot of golfers because you're usually looking at a max, you know, high draw, all those things. And that's going to be 5,000 spin for someone who is a chopper. But now I feel like you can be fit into any driver head, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I mean, there was, there was a kind of a big, there wasn't a huge difference in terms of my carry distance in total. I, I prefer the profile of the QI10. Of course. This big head size doesn't quite 
fit my eye personally. Um, but having said that, the forgiveness it offers is extraordinary. Yeah, 100%. It's a, we've done a video comparing this to the Ping G430 Max 10K. Go check that out. The range itself, there's a reason why it's number one, because you could be fit into any driver head. There really is a model for you, the person watching this video. As you can see by, we hit every single driver head here today. Low spin, bombers, fast, forgiving. Uh, even Colin Morikawa was using the Max. Ticks all the boxes for us and the PGA Tour players. Indeed. Maybe not live though. Back to London Golf Club. The best driver range of 2024 Golf Magic Awards goes to the TaylorMade QI10. I was really impressed with the range overall. We've obviously got the LS, the QI10, and the Max, which we're gonna talk about first, because the Max, similar to the pink G430 Max 10K, comes with that heralded 10,000 MOI. Now, we've, there's been so much discussion, hasn't there, about the 10,000 MOI asset. The concept of it making it really forgiving, I do think that's correct. And I was actually fit for the QI10 Max over in America last year. I do really like it. And what I think makes it a little bit better than the pink G430 Max 10K is just, I think down at address that profile is a little bit less vulgar, perhaps. I mean, I think vulgar is essentially quite a harsh it's a really word harsh to word, use yeah. for the ping driver, but the Q10 <laughs> uh, Max has got I, the Infinity Carbon Crown. I think looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. It looks really sophisticated, very sleek, and potentially just a touch more premium. Yeah. Which and coming in at a lower price point. That's also probably yep. slightly beneficial. Yeah. Uh, I would personally rather have the QI10 Max in the bag than the what? Ping G430 Max 10K. Yeah. Bit of a mouthful. A mouthful. Um, wow. But yeah, just I mean, and to be honest, that's probably just personal preference. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to lead on yeah. to. Like that's personal preference, and that's why we haven't put it as number one to make QI10 just for that. I put it as number one. We put it as number one because. As a whole, the range, it encompasses so many good parts of a driver. Yeah. I think it can make everyone a really good golfer. Now, I initially had the Max, now I've got the, uh, the QI10 LS. I can literally hit any of them. Yeah, I've got the QI10. I think the difference with Callaway, um, this was very, very close. Uh, the difference with Callaway is I think the model is a little bit more distinctive towards a certain handicap of golfer, mm -hmm. whereas you've seen Colin Murakawa have the QI10 Max. Yeah. I know we've seen in the DP World Tour, the Callaway had the actual, the people had the Max D, I believe. In Rory's there. had the QI10 and the QI10 LS. Exactly, you never expect Rory to have a QI10 no. in there. So they're a lot, they kind of mix into one really good driver. So that's why, for us, the QI10 is at number one. No, but no, no. it is very, very close. Yeah. Visually, I think the Taylor made always really do come up trumps, I think, for the looks. I love the blue face. Uh, I, I, I have to say, I, was, I wasn't a huge fan of Stealth or Stealth 2. I think oh, this is it. a big upgrade in the looks department. Really? Okay. Yeah, why, why, why is that? The colour? Uh, the I looks? wasn't a huge fan of the red face, okay. personally. And I just actually think the, the new fully carbon crown is just a nicer, nicer finish. I see. Who do you support? Arsenal. So I should love red. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't like this. I'm a Spurs fan, no. so I hate Chelsea. Exactly. But anyway, let's see if I can give this one a go. Oh, man. Oh. That's bombed. That is bombs. That's gone through the fairway as well. Yeah, it's just sight him in left. That, I, that's, that's a great the strike. Feel, the feel of that is just is, is lovely. It's very, it's close to Callaway in terms of him trying to compare it to. So different from Cobra and Pink, but it's quite a metallic like trampoline effect. In yeah. the way that I would describe yeah, yeah. it, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I'm gonna see a bit of spoiler. You've got the QI10 in the bag, don't you? I do indeed. This is this is by far and away my favourite driver of the year. Um, from kind of. From, preliminary testing, yep. it went straight in the bag, and I've absolutely loved it. Yeah, and we've, we've seen you hitting absolute bombs. And I think what's funny when we look at the differences between Stealth 2 to this, obviously there was a massive difference in MOI for the QI10 Max. There's a bit of a difference with the QI10, uh, but nothing- Oh yeah, it doesn't have that mythical 10K no, number. No, it doesn't have that big of a difference to the Stealth 2, but I've seen some really big improvements when people have switched over to this from that forgiveness factor. Let's see if I can deliver oh, on the speed. goods. Give me some speed, Johnny. Oh, sounds just lovely. That is A1. That is A1. Absolute stripe show from Johnny Woods. Cha -ching. <laughs> we Love do it. though have to address an elephant in the room. We're missing a few driver brands, aren't we? And I think we need to talk about it. Yeah, that's fair. So we've only done a top three here, haven't we, Johnny? So we are missing the likes of PXG, Cobra, Srixen. Tight list. Yeah, much, much, much more. And oh, this, this, the, the companies are endless that we have missed. And I'm going to be honest, on another day, the likes of those big boys could certainly have cracked into the top three. And I think in 2024 now, when we're talking about drivers, we're talking about a lot of things, actually. 
they're so close together in terms of their quality, aren't they? The margins are incredibly fine, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not like the other one beats it by 30, 40, 50 yards. No. I think drivers, when we're looking at them nowadays, are becoming more like putters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I could like a love, I could love a putter just because of the way it looks, yeah. and that makes me become a better player with it. It's the same. I could like the TaylorMade QI10 because of the way it looks. Is it going to perform better? Just maybe just because I like it more. Yeah. Yes. I think. I mean, there's a lot to be said for feeling confident with a driver in hand, and yeah. that can play a massive part. Like I, when I have the QI10 in hand, I feel like I'm going to hit a good shot. Whereas right. with others, not as confident. And sure. I think that does definitely seep into the performance you get from it. Yeah. Um, but as you said, there's a lot of other fantastic drivers on the market this year. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we haven't even talked about shaft as well. Having the right no. shaft is crucial. We've seen yourself, absolutely. Johnny, get the correct shaft, and now we're sitting absolute bombs off the tee. So, although we have got a top three here, and that is our opinion, it's not facts. Although we're saying, I'm saying that the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max is the best individual driver for consumers alike. What's your best driver, do you think, for consumers? Uh, I think if we were to look at golfers as a whole, yeah. The majority of golfers are probably high to mid handicappers. Sure. And I think the, the G430 Max 10K and the TaylorMade QI10 Max would suit so many people just because of the level of forgiveness they offers. I think as you move slightly further down the handicap scale, something like the QI10 or the Callaway yeah. AI Smoke Max is an ideal combination of distance and forgiveness. Sure, exactly. But other people can have different opinions. Other media companies can have different opinions, of course. So this is our recommendation, but don't be offended if we've missed the likes of PXG Titleist, things like that, because there is not a bad driver that has been released in 2024, and that'll happen again in 2025, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So guys, what's your best driver in 2024? What's your best range, and what do you have in the bag? We know what Johnny's got in the bag, the TaylorMade QI10. What do I have in the bag? I haven't released that just yet. Have a guess down in the comments. What's in the bag coming soon? Mm, coming soon. It changes every week. <laughs> Guys, if you are new to Golf Magic, make sure you smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with many more videos coming from us. This is like an overall best drivers video. We've got fastest drivers coming, most forgiving drivers coming. So yeah. make sure you smash that big red subscribe button down below to keep up to date with myself and Jozza. Until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.